Ivy 8888 range day 2023. I'm here with David from Mean Arms. How you doing, David? Hey, good to see you, Kyle. Uh, we're talking about our bearing delay upper receiver system. Excellent. So, Long awaited, right? But now available. Yeah, they are they are shipping now to customers. These are production models. Uh, we make five different barrel lengths. Four and a half, this is the seven and a half, 11 inch. This is the 14 and a half, and we have a 16. And that's pinned and welded, or you can get the option. Uh, the, there is an option, a sixth option for a 14 and a half pin and welded, yeah. Excellent. So, right, so talk about this a little bit. What about the uh, the main part here, the BCG? Right, so our idea was we wanted to get roller delayed, but shoehorn it into an AR-15 system, better than anybody else has in the past. And the way we do that is replace the two rollers that you usually see with a roller delay with three ball bearings. Take a look at so, that here. Oh yeah. When the, when the bolt goes into the carrier, it pushes the balls out like that, and they lock into our barrel extension, which has pockets machined into it. You can see it there in the seven and a half inch. Yeah. So that gives you your lockup and battery for safety, much safer than a blowback nine millimeter, but it also gives you your delay as it comes out. It pushes against the internal component in the BCG, which allows it to be tunable because we can change that angle. So to take it apart, you just twist the bolt either direction, and it comes right apart. This is what we call our lifter, and those three grooves in the end of it, this is a K model. You can see okay. the, the laser marking there. Yeah. But you swap out for a different letter that corresponds to a different angle, and we can change the angle of those three grooves so you can account for hot ammo or a, maybe a subsonic ammo if you're shooting with a suppressor, yep. whatever you want to do, even just to change the recoil, imp recoil impulse. Okay. And these are all 9mm, right? Yes. This, the initial production is 9mm, but yes, we are looking at, in the future, other calibers. All different barrel lengths. Uh, works with, obviously, your upper here, and then you also have your own handguard, which is a, it's like a polymer composite, right? Yes. So uh, the upper receiver, each one of them comes with our, our own proprietary polymer handguard. Okay. This is a uh, very high strength, high temperature resistant polymer material. Yep. The family that started Mean has been injection molding polymers in Georgia for 53 plus years. Oh, really cool. Okay. So tons of experience and, yeah, and know knowledge doing. <laughs> in house. Uh, this is, uh, we've run over these with uh, pickup trucks and they haven't broken. So <laughs> there's durability and reliability. And plus, anything we make, uh, lifetime warranty. So if awesome. there's ever a problem, we'll fix or replace it. And that muzzle device, is that yours? Yep, the muzzle device and the charging handle are all custom designed in parts. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the upper receiver is compatible with standard charging handles. So if you don't okay. like ours for some reason, you can swap it out with any, any other one you want. Same thing with the handguard, it's compatible. This is a slick side billet upper, but it's nothing proprietary or special. Um, the only parts that are proprietary in the system are the BCG, oh, yeah. the barrel, and the barrel extension. Okay. You, there are rails that extend inside the upper, but they just attach to the barrel extension. And okay. They're, they're compatible with the mill spec upper. I would say you can slap this on any lower, right? And yeah, so because we make the Indomag to convert your PMAG to 9mm, yep. originally okay. our thought was this will work great with uh, mill spec lower receivers for yep. guys that are shooting uh, 5.56. Don't even have to change the buffer. This works with the carbine <laughs> buffer. All right. Um, but it also works with uh, Glock lower uh, and other pistol mag dedicated lower receivers. Uh, Excellent. The, the, the uh, catch there is that you do need to remove the ejector typically. Okay, you had to make it fit, yeah. Because we have the ejector built into our bolt. Uh, that's another unique feature is our ejector is actually in the center of the bolt face. So our firing pin actually passes through the ejector. And that's okay. the secret to why we have such a uh, consistent and uh, reliable ejection pattern. Now you're saying this is not only good because roller delayed obviously is a smoother shooter, but there's a safety aspect as well? Yep, so like the AR-15, when the bolt is in the forward position like this, yep. the firing pin is not long enough to reach the bolt face. The bolt has to be pushed in like that, yep. which is what happens when it goes into battery, for the firing pin to be long enough to reach the bolt face. This is a whole new game changer thing because this is way different than typical blowback you usually see with these type of platforms. Right, and and I, I think you've shot prototypes in, in previous years, but yep. you, you probably remember how soft shooting they are too. It is, we're about to shoot it some more here once we go live, so definitely get some uh, right. footage of that with you guys. Definitely. Excellent, now they're in now shipping. And, yep, uh, these are shipping uh, now. I guess the best thing is so, price point wise and also where can you get them and, and when? Is there a delay or anything like that? Uh, no, it just depends on barrel length, but uh, yeah, if we have it in stock, they ship the next uh, within the week. Oh, perfect, okay. Um, What's the MSRP kind of starting like rough? The short, the four and a half is uh, 1400 and they step okay. up in price to the 16, which is about $1,500 yeah. MSRP. Awesome. And All that's right. uh, at meanarms.com. Excellent, well, hey, let's get to shooting here. Thanks All so right. much. Let's start with the 10.5. Let's see how this thing runs here. That bearing delay should be pretty sweet.
Very nice. All right, let's do the 16 here. Should be even smoother. Rises here. We'll go full auto. Oh, 